Hey guys, Darkbreaker here. First of all, don't take this title seriously. Obviously, I'm not the best player in Europe. I guess it's Vex. But I think I can give you 10 amazing tips as the current rank 1 player. I reached Conqueror every season uh, I played since season 3. Finished top 2 in season 4 and was for a month rank 1 in season 5. Okay, enough with the introduction, let's get started. My first tip is to play together with friends. What does it mean? Either go duo or trio queue or even go uh, full team, 5, uh, five man pre-made and on top of that you can use voice chat that helps a lot and of course your teammates try to play with good people that know how the game works that you don't have to teach them all the all the basics and if you use voice chat for example like discord uh, it de it depends on the person like for me personally i'm more focused without it but I know plenty of people that prefer to use voice and it's a great way to communicate and give information and give calls to your teammates like rotations and objectives like if your jungler says let's rotate to the enemy red buff you can do it easier this way over voice chat and obviously Duo and Trio Q uh, decreases your chance to get a bad player in your team since you are basically having three good people in your team and the chance is only two fifth to get a, a bad teammate and the enemies uh, have a higher chance to get bad um, enemies. So for my second tip, pick your comfort picks pick meta heroes and pick the right role. So try to pick your best hero for ranked and don't try stuff out immediately in ranked. Go ahead and play some standard games before. And for meta heroes always try to pick the top heroes at the moment. In my opinion from the past few days I played it's Lindus, Rock, Superman, Arum, Fla oh, did I say Flash? Flash, really strong. Let's see what's banned. Timmy, Alice are banned too, I guess. Yeah, try to pick the best meta heroes. I did the solo queue tier list recently. You might check it out. I will link it down below in the description. Actually, it changed a bit. Uh, I'm not sure if I should do it in another video. Let's talk real quick. Ryoma got worse. Lindis got buffed big time. She's the best jungler in my opinion right now. Rock is really good too now. Zeph is still strong, but not as strong as before. Uh, Zuka, big buff. He's really good now. Arum and Alice are very popular in solo queue too. Mm. Yeah, that's the most important stuff. Quixie got really... Uh, Quixie got buffed. She's really good too now. I might do a video of her pretty soon. So, let's keep going. My third tip is... Oh no, never mind. And pick the right role to carry. Like... Go for jungle or mid, that's the easiest role to carry solo with. And if you play uh, trio queue, you always want to have a good jungler in your party. It's The best combo is mid lane, jungle and support. And so you can rotate together and snowball the whole map, that's the easiest way. Or if you just go solo queue, go mid lane and... Uh, I mean, if you go duo queue, go mid lane and jungle, that's the best combo. So, let's go to the my third tip. It's objectives. 
that means Drake Control, Buff Control, Dark Slayer, and Towers. Ranking order right now. Mm, of course, Dark Slayer number one, but usually it's, it's Tower first, then Drake Control. Drake Control is really important. I changed my mind. If you're if you're solo queue, buff control is more important and tower. But if you're going trio queue or duo queue, drag control is really important. Since your other teammates are benefiting from the experience in gold uh, advantage that uh, the drag gives. And if you get like two or three drags and steal one uh, buff from the opponent's jungler, you're like two or three levels ahead of him. And he can't uh, he can't uh, compete against you when you're trying to counter jungle him. Go for a counter jungle. He's behind you in level. He will be scared for sure. That's so important. Like if all your teammates are two level higher compared to the opponents, that just gives a big advantage. And always focus. Always try to get the tower. It opens the map and it's easier to rotate and gang others. And the opponent has to overextend on the map to get the farm or kill the minions. And if he's too far out, he can't go back to his tower and you can pick him off. That's really good. My fourth tip is follow the better player. What does that mean? When you have a teammate that is doing really well, like he's 5-0, or he's 10-0, just follow his calls, don't do stupid stuff, if he calls Drake, just follow him, if he calls Dark Slayer, just follow him, if he goes for a red buff invade, try to help him out, if he goes for a tower siege, follow him, just follow the better player, rotate with him, listen to his calls, let yourself be carried, that's a really important aspect of the game, if you're not doing well, don't try to do any unnecessary stuff like go for an epic kill, oh wow, no. Just follow the better player, he will carry you and let yourself be carried. Because there are so many people that always want to show off, they always want to do an amazing play, but the better play is to play it safe, follow the better player, don't do your own stuff if you are doing worse, of course, but if you're doing well, then try to play with him, like rotate with the good player, get picks off with him. Okay, fifth point, minimap and map awareness. Always look at the minimap where the opponents are, where the enemy jungler might be, where they are rotating, where are they going to gank where his jungle road is for example like he starts blue he goes red and you can either pick him off or try to counter jungle him like that's so important and know where your uh, teammates are like don't expect them to always come know your limits like you're fighting and you expect your teammate to come so you can win that that solo queue, you are not going to have a teammate that always responds to every single play you want to do. Like you can expect, like he's maybe, maybe he's like, yeah, I need to get those creeps first and then I come and that might be too late for you. And that's the problem. Don't expect your teammate to always be there for you if you're playing solo queue, of course. Mm, and as a bonus tip, uh, like... I, I'm not sure if you know it, like when I'm using Zephyrus or any hero with uh, extended skill shots like Joker, you can use your minimap. Like what I like to do is use my index finger to move the camera on the minimap so I can see more and then you hit skill shots easier. Like I know a few people ask me how I do that, I use my index finger on the minimap and that's how I have an advanced uh, camera view. Okay, my wait, six point finish games quick. Don't troll and finish the game as quick as possible. 
Don't give your opponents a comeback potential. Don't give them shot down gold by trolling and dying. It's so important, like, just rush the game as quick as possible. Don't take your time. If you want to win, just win it quick. Don't do any unnecessary stuff that might lead to throw the game. Because so many, it's solo queue, and so many times, I tell you, so many times, people think, yeah, I just keep uh, killing, I'm not going for objectives. I'm doing a 1 vs 4 because I'm so fat, and then they die and they give 800 gold for the kill, uh, and the others get also gold. That's such a big throw, and in late game, if one person dies, that can throw the entire game. It's so important to just focus on the game, finish it as quick as possible, and don't do any unnecessary stuff. My... Let's see. My seventh tip is learn from your mistakes. It's so important to watch out for your mistakes. Even when you think you didn't do any mistakes, I guarantee you, you did a lot of mis mistakes that you didn't even notice. There's always room to improve. Don't ever think you are the best. There's always a thing that you could have improved in the game. So, even I do a lot of mistakes, and that's why it's really helpful to record your own games and watch over them a few times. Like, when I'm um, cutting my videos and rendering them, I always watch my videos like two or three times, and I always notice mistakes that I could have done, uh, always, always notice plays that I could have done better. Like, in the moment you think it's good, but if you look at it objectively, and you have to do it objectively, you will always see some mistakes. Or, a good thing is maybe try out some coaching, like, let someone else watch your gameplay and see the mistakes that you did, or what you could have improved. Okay, my 8th tip. 8th tip? Yeah is the right behavior and mentality. Don't ever go AFK, try to not be tilted and don't flame others. So that's so important to just always always try to win. Like in solo queue it's never lost. There's always a comeback potential because People will throw, people will do, people will overextend, people, people would get, people are getting cocky, there's always a way to come back. So try to not be tilted, try to focus on winning the game. <laughs> and that's about it. Next tip, mute your chat. Like, that's, yeah, the, the tips are pretty similar. Like, just focus on the game. No chatting, no talking, no shit talking at all. Don't just focus on the game. Don't type while you could have done something else. And that's about it. My the final tip is use commands wisely. Help your teammates out with commands like what are my favorite commands? Like rally when you want to do an objective, ping for the towers, ping retreat, ping that you are unhealthy, uh, no, I mean, ping that you don't have much health left. Um, what else? Retreat, enemies missing, um, let's set up an ambush, that's important, and of course, uh, if you kill somebody, Use the taunt, uh, that's all you got, and that's really important. Tilt, oh, actually, wait a second, actually you can use that for real. Like, I'm not, not even trolling, like, if you use it while, when you're killing some people, every time you kill someone you use it, on the sa same person. You kill him three or four times and use that, he's going to be so tilted, and spam some backports as well, <laughs> and he's, go he's going to be tilted. Like, there are a lot of people that are getting 
Oh yes, yes, wait. Use tilt to your advantage. Like if you're camping the enemy jungler and spam him with taunts. There are so many times when I did that that people just got super mad and right in chat uh, yeah f fuck you I go AFK oh why are you BMing me well if they are uh, tilted and they are writing in chat they are wasting their time they are not focused on the game anymore that's a big advantage actually so maybe try that out too okay guys I hope you enjoyed this type of video um, let me think Maybe I do another solo queue tier list since it changed a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed it and leave down a like, commentate if you liked it and of course subscribe so you don't miss out on any future guides. Okay, see ya. Day by day Desperate fight My fears are waiting for me at the outside Overwhelmed Feeling low I'm the star in this depressing one match I wish I would be able To flee but I'm not stable Wouldn't stand a chance It's just too much to handle I need an inspiration Another world I have to see I travel with my pawn station to a place of fantasy Whatever I wanna be, nothing blocks me, I'm free I'm gonna beat my enemies As a king or as a knight I will ring, I will fight until I shine in the night Why should I stay? Please take me away from the light Fall